be here uh, this evening uh, alongside many uh, wonderful speakers. Uh, our topic is really quite simple. My friend and I, my very good friend and I, who went to college together, we just thought we'd been through a long college cycle and we thought, you know, that wasn't that much fun. Maybe we can make education fun. And when things are fun, we tend to like them. And when, things, and we, t and when we like things, we tend to do well at them. And so specifically within the field of engineering, what we sought to seek out was perhaps a common theme that uh, I think many of us have experienced at some time in our life. Uh, and that theme is the idea of going to school, uh, paying a lot of money, maybe then going back to school, maybe paying some more money, and then wondering, what the heck just happened? What am I now going to do with this education? And that was one motivation. The second motivation, I think we can all uh, relate to this, is this idea of why am I learning this? And it's, you know, in the slide right behind me, but we all asked this as kids. You know, we went to our parents, we said, why am I learning this? And now, you know, they gave us the answer of, you'll do well, you'll go to a good school, you'll, you'll get a good job. That, that's fantastic. We, you know, we bought that. Our kids ask us now, or our younger siblings ask us now, and we say the same thing. And they kind of look at us like, all right, fine, okay, I'll do that. Uh, but I think kids are smart, and I think they're impatient. I don't think that eight-year time windows uh, for success and for actually getting to do something fun uh, is really the best way to teach anymore. And so what we did was we started a program uh, to bridge that divide. And so the first thing we did within the field of engineering was we went around and we tried to find out what students thought of engineering. And really what we found out is they thought it was a big mystery. Uh, they thought a bunch of cool equations, lines, funky figures. Uh, you invoke your favorite god, whoever that is, and then boom, iPad happens. And that's really what they thought. But you know, athletes don't train because they like to train. Athletes train because they like to play the game. And so what we did was just set up a very simple way for students to play the game. Secondly, we learned this. Uh, we learned that, uh, and I think we all know this, uh, engineering is really a boys only field. Uh, only 20% of all undergraduate degrees uh, go to women. And politically, we've heard a lot of lines recently about you know, equal rights and equal representation, and that's absolutely the right message. Uh, but if you just look at the political buzz line, you're missing the depth of that statement. And that is, when, you have, when you're missing so many women in a field, you're losing a lot of aggregate intellect that could be contributing new ideas, new companies, new businesses, things like that. And so we wanted to get women more involved in engineering and showing that it's fun and it's cool and it is for everybody. Uh, and secondly, my personal motivation, uh, the beautiful woman there on the right in the circle is my mother. Uh, she was an engineer uh, growing up, went to IIT in India. And uh, you know, life never works out perfectly, but uh, when I was very young, my sister and I, uh, we lost our father at a very young age. And uh, my mom's career as an engineer saved our family. She had the intelligence and the skills to carry a family and send two kids to college with no debt and no loans because she was smart and she was an engineer. And so that's my personal motivation uh, in being here today. Uh, thank you. Uh, and so the idea we came up with was simple. We said to students, okay, no books, no lectures, no tests, none of that. You get to pick the project. You get to choose what you want to do. But bear in mind, for six weeks, it's going to be the hardest thing you've ever done. And what's amazing is when you challenge students, when you ask them what can you really do and what do you want to do, the answers can be unbelievable. And I'll show you some of that right now. I'm David Lallon, I'm a Blue Stamp engineer. I go to Armada School, um, I'm a rising senior, and I built the digital stethoscope. The favorite part, my favorite part about the project that I've been working on is, uh, I don't know, I really like LEDs, they're cool. <laughs> Uh, this is my project. I made a wind turbine. My project is a stoplight controlled over a web server on my computer. These are the sensors, and when Fahana walks through the door, it will play the music. All I can ever be to you is the darn steps we know, and this regret I... Um, so if I hold the sample of carbonite up to the tube, it blinks rapidly and beeps, and you can see the graph goes up quite sharply. So right now, this car is calibrating the compass, and I just sent it the coordinates of the end of the sidewalk over there. In Google Earth, I can also see all the points 
and once again I can show all of the Geiger counter data at that specific location and time. What I liked most about this program was I got to learn something that I would never have learned how to do at my school. And you know, the, the truth is, I don't know if these students are going to go on to become engineers. They may realize they love it. They may realize they don't like it at all. But what I do know is this. Instead of asking the question, of why am I learning this, we can now respond with the idea of, you're learning this because this is what it's really like. And if you find something you really like, you'll find what makes you happy. And if you find a way to be happy, you'll find a way to make a better world. Thank you.